Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Recently I had asked you guys if you wanted me to review a specific drugstore brand and the biggest response I got, yeah, I've, I've been getting like a kick out of product reviews and I'm just, I'm just trying to keep in with what everybody else is using. But anyway, so I had asked, you know, if you had wanted me to review any drugstore products, I got a huge response for bronzers and drugstore blushes. I started off with drugstore products and I never really got into blush. I didn't really actually get into blush and st until I started purchasing and buying like MAC and kind of upgrading to more higher end mainstream products. So this is actually something that's new to me, drugstore blushes, because I have no experience in that. I've never really tried any drugstore brushes. So this is something that I'm going to be learning with you guys. But before I talk about the blushes, I do want to introduce to you guys. Actually, I've talked about this in quite a few of my videos. You guys asked for bronzers and I, y'all have been sleeping on one bronzer that I've been talking about for quite a while now. This is a product that Sam Fine recommends. Sam Fine swears by the CoverGirl Queen Collection. And let me just tell you guys, if you don't know who Sam Fine is, you need to Google him right now. If Sam Fine tells you to buy something, Girl, you better buy it. You better buy it and don't you hesitate either. He has sworn by the CoverGirl Queen Collection bronzers. This one I have is Q120. I have all of them. Q110 and Q100. I'm going to show you guys all three colors that they have. And these are specific. The CoverGirl Queen Collection is formulated, you know, specifically for women of color. So, again, Sam Fine loves it. I went out and had to have it because everyone else was using it. And I'm so glad I did. I love the way these look on the skin. I'm trying to show these in order of dark, lightest to darkest. Here they are. So this is your lightest one. This is your medium one. This is the darkest one, which is the one that I use. This one has kind of got like a reddish tint to it, which I don't mind. And this, these two are a little bit more on the neutral neutral side. Beautiful bronzers. And I don't even just use them on clients that are black. Like you don't have to be... Um, black to use a line of products that are geared towards you know darker skinned women I use them on women that kind of are as light as like Jennifer Lopez's complexion I just think that they're so pretty I don't know about you guys but in the summer I don't really wear as much makeup so anytime I can get kind of like that sun-kissed glow with minimal product I love these bronzers and I'm so I can't believe that you guys didn't already know about these it was it was just so crazy to me that so many people had mentioned bronzers for women of color drugstore bronzers drugstore bronzers and I'm like I thought I already told you guys about these but you know what whatever I'm gonna reintroduce them to you guys and I really really hope that you guys go out and try them they um, I spent I want to say that I spent like maybe 650 on them and you get quite a bit of product this one I've had for well over a year but this is the one that I have in my kit the one that I use for myself, actually, you know what, I'm exact. Well, yeah, it has been about a year. I, I think I bought it last summer. This one I bought last summer. Look how much product I have left. Now, granted, I don't really use bronzers a lot daily, but that's still a lot. Like, I, I want to say that I use it at least once every two weeks. So, I don't know, I guess it just, it just varies on how you like your makeup to look or how frequently you wear bronzers. And, it, and, and bronzers, the idea of bronzers kind of... I kind of had to get used to because I kind of love like that more sculpted contour look and bronzers kind of have like a warmer look so you know also seasons have a lot to do with it as well I don't really wear a lot of bronzers during the winter or fall months but still to have a product for well over a year and it doesn't even look like I barely am touching the pan still a lot of product in there I think that's pretty impressive now I'm wearing them more frequently so we'll see how long they last throughout the summer so CoverGirl Queen Collection bronzers is my pick for today. For those of you guys that have been asking, two thumbs up. If I can give three thumbs up, I love them. And those of you guys that are professional makeup artists, I do recommend having all three. It's just, a, it's just good to have all shade ranges in your kit. I live for them and I will continue to purchase them. Next request that I got was drugstore blushes. With this one, there's good news and there's bad news. The bad news is, I still don't know any great drugstore blushes and I promise you I will diligently continue to search for a great line that produces drugstore blushes for women of color. So that's the bad news because this product is not something that you can buy at like a Walmart or a Target or a drugstore of any kind. You will buy them, you'll purchase them online. Good news is 
The blushes I'm gonna show you are like 10 times better than drugstore blushes. They blow drugstore blushes out of the freaking water. And they're probably actually cheaper. You guys, drugstore makeup is really not as cheap as it used to be, or it's not as cheap as you think it is. Like, you think that just because you're buying it at Walmart or Target, I mean, you'll still spend about the same, like if you have like a MAC Pro card, you'll still spend about the same on a MAC eyeshadow with a discount as you would on a drugstore shadow. It's actually really crazy. So when I say this stuff is cheaper than drugstore, I actually mean that because on average you'll pay probably what, like four or five dollars on a drugstore blush. These bad boys are way cheaper and I found out about these blushes a while ago on YouTube from one of my favorite YouTubers Wayne Goss aka Goss Makeup Artist was using a brand called La Femme and La Femme is available on MakeupMania.com hold on let me check La Femme blushes are available on MakeupMania.com this is the size of them they are fairly they're a little bit smaller than the size of a traditional MAC blush. Let me show you the size of one before I speak too soon. And this is just not that MAC is the only makeup line, but it's, you know, obviously quite reputable and quite popular. So I want to show you, I want to give you guys some comparisons. This is a MAC blush. This is a Le Femme blush. So as far as size and scale, not that much different, but here's the difference. La Femme blushes are more pigmented than MAC blushes and they come in get this at a whopping two dollars and fifty cents each yes I said that correctly two dollars and fifty cents now this is the collection that I own I own seven and I bought a little palette just for these you can either buy the individual blushes or you can buy the refills and I'm gonna show you guys some of the colors that I bought I actually bought when way when Goss Makeup Artist made the video about these blushes I went on about like all of them that he recommended so this one is Frambrosia it's a fuchsia pink this is red it is exactly that a red and it's got a little bit of shimmer but the texture is matte this is coral spice and it's kind of it's a little bit more on the softer pink side and I don't really use there you go that's the color I don't really use that one on myself too much I use it but I have been using it on clients that are a little bit lighter than me terracotta which is my personal probably one of my more favorite ones especially for the summer peach sparkle gorgeous you guys know how I feel about peach blushes this one is mandarin red it's quite uh, comparable to the coral spice and last but certainly not least because this one is my favorite out of all of them this one is coral so pretty it's like it kind of plays tricks on me because it looks orange I think it probably looks orange on camera but it's like an orange pink and I love that it's matte. Matte blushes are my favorite out of them all. So I found, I again, the, those blushes are available on MakeupMania.com. And let me do some swatches for you guys just so you can see how pigmented they are. So that's the blush there. And look at that. That's, that's like glowing. That's crazy. Like it's literally like glowing on my finger. Here's red. That's red. It's crazy, right? Like look how pigmented that is. I mean, you you cannot, I don't care what drugstore you shop at, you cannot get that out of a drugstore blush. And I can't believe that they're actually cheaper. I know they might look a little bit chalky on camera, I promise you they are not. They are so pigmented and so beautiful. So the La Femme blushes are available on MakeupMania.com, that's what their website looks like. Their price, oh, you guys, do you guys like my new iPad case? How dope is that? Like, did you die when you see this? Because I damn near had a stroke when I bought this. This is uh, made by the company icycouture.com. I'm gonna put the link on the bottom bar. This is the company that I used to work before, work for before I got to Kuwait, because y'all know I'm like a bling queen. And tell them Jackie O sent you. Way off topic, but this is hot. So I just thought I had to show y'all. Um, anyways, so the La Femme blushes are available on makeupmania.com. And I also was recently, I was also recently browsing on Camera Ready Cosmetics website, all my makeup pros out there. And you don't have to be a professional to shop, to shop on Camera Ready Cosmetics, they just so happen to have a pro discount program. And they have well over 40 blushes in their collection. And on Camera Ready Cosmetics, they actually price them in at $2.99 each. But that's, I believe it might be including tax. And on the Makeup Mania website, they're $2.50 each, but that doesn't include tax. So it may average out to about the same. I don't know, you might wanna 
um, check that one out. I bought mine on MakeupMania.com and I bought those like a, like well over a year ago. Anyways, that pretty much concludes my so-called drugstore blushes. Well, drugstore blushes, not quite, but freaking better than drugstore blushes. Who needs drugstore blushes when you can get these bad boys for $2.50 each and they look like professional products. They are professional products. Like as far as I'm concerned, you are getting a professional product that's better than drugstore and it's cheaper. So please check out MakeupMania.com because they're amazing. So check those out. Do some Google searches if you're contemplating buying a color. Sometimes I like to look on Google. I'll Google that name and I'll see if anyone offers any swatches or has actually tried it on, which is actually a really, really great way when you can't like see a product in person, buy it, touch it, feel it, smell it. I'll Google it and I'll see you know what it looks like on other people that are wearing it and then perhaps I can get a feel for how it may or may not look on me so that's always an option as well I think that's pretty much I've given you all I've got on the femme like their stuff is amazing the covergirl queen collection bronzers for drugstore win the best of the year for me I really hope that you guys try them those of you guys have tried them let me know if you love them those of you guys that have not please do um, share if you guys have any other drugstore blush ideas or recommendations I heard wet and wild has great products I have yet to try theirs their blushes I'm gonna get on that and other than that that's pretty much all I've got I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching bye